Hi, I'm Alan Arkish, and this is Trailers from Hell. Jonathan Demi. He was a wonderful director with a unique vision. One of his gifts was the way he subverted genre to his own personal point of view. Whether it was Caged Heat, Crazy Mama, Melvin and Howard, Stop Making Sense, or Married to the Mob, they all reflected his generous personality. In Something Wild, the first half has that tone, but there is a big turn when Ray Liotta's character appears in the picture. Evil and danger have arrived to ruin the fun. For Demi Buffs, this is the first stylistic premonition of Hannibal Lecter. Our trailer from Hell is Silence of the Lambs, an unlikely project for this warm-hearted auteur. Yet, it was a five-time Oscar winner, a big hit, and has had a lasting place in popular culture. As my tribute to Jonathan, let's examine 1992's Best Director and Best Picture, Silence of the Lambs. You spook easily, Starling. Not yet, sir. Is it a horror movie or a detective story? Or is it the story of one young woman trying to save the life of another? That's the analysis that got Jodie Foster the part and bonded her with Jonathan Demme. Donning a traditionally male role, she goes into a dark forest of monsters to rescue the princess and comes out the other side with greater knowledge. Hence, the choice of shooting most of the movie as if we are inside her mind, which is why it resonated with women, yet like the best genre films, we look evil in the eye and we are hooked. She'll have to match wits. I'll help you catch him, Clary. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. With the darkest of all minds. Anthony Hopkins played the monster with a disturbing stillness. The director said that Lecter was a good man, a compassionate man, locked inside this insane mind. Christy Zia's production design was inspired by the paintings of Francis Bacon and is a memorable tour de force, especially the butterfly-strewn basement and the all-plastic safe cell where Lecter lives. And no one seeing this movie forgets those epic close-ups. Clarice and Hannibal looking directly into the lens and into us. Thank you, Clarice. Thank you. Jonathan Demme truly subverts and deepens the genre. He's a director with the heart of Jean Renoir. He sees the good reasons in all of us. To quote him, you have to understand humanity in order to heal it. <laughs> <laughs> 